Hi there. Welcome back. Since we have already tackled three of the more difficult games for the Nintendo, let's look at an easier game. Contra. Ready. But wait. Up up down down left right left right B A B A start. What was that? Up up down down left right left right B A B A start. One more time. Up up down down left right left right B A B A start. This is the Konami code. It's famous. If you put in the code during the title screen, you will start the game with 30 lives. And you will also get 30 lives again when you use a continue later in the game. But an intelligent and good looking gamer like yourself clearly needs more of a challenge. So, unless you want your gameplay to look like this, you'll have to learn how to beat the game without dying. Don't worry. That's why we are here. We are gonna go over how to beat the game in just a few minutes. Okay. Now we are ready. The first stage is actually pretty easy. You just run through the stage shooting the enemies as you go. Oh but don't turn around to pick up this item. Cause you will probably end up down here. If you end up in the water. Just keep shooting the enemies holding the diagonal. And take the lower route until you can get to the next sub weapon. It's better to just hold right and keep jumping as the bridge explodes. Now get this. The spread gun. Use the spread gun sub weapon to clear the enemies as you make your way through the rest of the stage. There's a backup spread gun here if you need it. Oh yeah. But don't pick up any of the other sub weapons. It's bad. Keep holding right and dodging the bullets. When you get to the boss, use the spread gun to take out the soldier and the guns. and then shoot at this glowing eyeball thingy. Base 1 starts with some pretty good jams. Just go ahead and shoot this glowing eyeball thingy. Grab the power up before going to the next screen. You'll want to get to the left and shoot the glowing eye without getting shot by the bullets. Duck and shoot the glowing eyeball thingy. duck and take out these rolling things. When you get to this screen you'll want to shoot the big glowing eyeball thingy while pushing the d-pad right and left to avoid getting shot in the face. To defeat the base one boss, just carefully clear everything out with the spread gun. Then watch out for these big glowing rings. Aim the spread gun at the moving eyeball and Boom! On to the next stage. Stage 3 and we're climbing instead of running? Clear out the enemies as you climb. And watch out for these falling rocks. You'll want to shoot in an upward and diagonal direction. And remember not to get any of the game's other sub-weapons. Wait here. Clear out the enemies and shoot in an upward direction so you can get the invincibility sub-weapon. After collecting the invincibility, climb onto this moving platform. Keep climbing and shooting the enemies. There's a backup spread gun here if you need it. Clear out the enemies and jump onto this moving platform. More climbing and shooting as you make your way toward the boss fight. To kill the stage 3 boss, aim in an upward direction and shoot the moving robot arm thing. Then go here. Now aim up and just shoot the spread gun at the boss's mouth until the fight is over. Base 2 is just like base 1 but now there are glowing squares in front of the glowing eyeballs. Just keep shooting at the squares and blowing up the glowing eyeball thingies. Duck and shoot at these two sets of glowing eyeballs. Keep clearing out the squares and the glowing eyeballs. Duck here. But remember to duck. Get to the left and let these rolling things clear off the screen. You'll want to kill this robot eye thingy before collecting the power up. Take out the rolling things and kill the glowing eyeball. Blow up this gun before jumping and shooting at the glowing eyeball thingy. You can jump back and forth shooting at the eyeball until it explodes. Oh look another one of these big glowing eyeball things. 
The base 2 boss is a lot like the base 1 boss. Watch out for these shooting enemies. And don't get hit by these blue flying enemies. Shoot at these two glowing Darth Vader helmets. And jump over these floating bubbles. Keep shooting and dodging the bubbles and... Done. Stage 5 looks very cold. Duck and shoot these turret enemies. Wait here so you don't get blown up by these flying bombs. And remember not to pick up these other sub-weapons. Carefully clear out the enemies and the turrets. Wait here. It's okay to get the rapid-fire sub-weapon. Wait here. Shoot upward so you can get this super bomb. Make sure to duck. To pass this part, just jump over the tank and wiggle the D-pad back and forth. Then go here. Now you can just mash the B button until the tank explodes. Oh yeah. If you don't have the spread gun, do this. Use your tank smarts and wiggle the D-pad. Remember mash the B button and you can just out DPS this tank. Duck. Jump. Watch out. Duck under the last few enemies and watch out for the last few bombs as you make your way toward the boss fight. To beat the boss, just go here and shoot the spread gun at the spaceship until it explodes. The energy zone stage is one of the harder stages. Just keep using the spread gun to clear out the enemies. Go down here. Duck and take out the gunners and the turrets as you make your way through the stage. Oh yeah. Watch out for enemies that might run from behind you. Wait here. This part is hard. Just duck under the flamethrowers before climbing up to the top of the screen. Keep going. Dodge these flamethrowers and shoot the gunner. Now you can just jump over this flame and drop down here so you can get the invincibility sub-weapon. Now you can just hold right and make your way through the rest of the screen. This stage boss will walk at you and maybe also jump. You just jump over the boss shooting the spread gun and... Done. Oh yeah. Sometimes it will throw these deadly frisbee things at you. So good luck with that. Time for the next stage. You might be able to just hold right and avoid these robot claw things but you're likely going to have to stop and look at the pattern. Here. Jump straight up and shoot at this turret. Watch out for these spike walls. Keep shooting the spike walls and clearing out the enemies with the spread gun. Use the top route and take out the spike wall and watch out for the robot claw arms. Wait here. Wait for the mining cart so you can jump up here and get the invincibility sub-weapon. Now you can just hold right and run through the screen jump. But don't do this. It's bad. Keep holding right and taking out the spike walls. You're gonna have to dodge more of these robot spike arms. Duck. Watch out. You're gonna have to keep ducking and dodging the bullets and the gunners until you get to the boss fight. This is the easiest boss fight in the game. Just mash the B button holding the directional up and right and you'll easily beat this boss. Hooray. We made it to the last stage. Okay. Time for the thrilling conclusion. Take the top route. Get the invincibility. Kill the demon worm. And the shrimp. Stop and take out these deadly cotton balls. And these purple mouths. Don't fall in the pits. There's a backup spread gun. Kill the rest of these cotton balls. And purple mouths. Don't lose the spread gun. To beat the final boss take out the spiders and the purple mouse. Try not to get hit by the deadly cotton balls and keep dodging the enemies. To finish the fight, go here and aim in an upward and right direction. Mash the B button and... You did it! Congratulations! The world is safe! Like and subscribe! Thanks for watching!